You're beautiful, you're a model, you're a Linda Evangelista. I never officially got paid as a model. I did uh, full tuxedo modeling actually in high school. Oh, well look at you go. Yeah, I was a runway model for a few years. Oh my god. The things you learn on the Dragging Your Heels show. I never From your husband. <laughs> <laughs> Hi there, and welcome to the Doe Show for Monday, May 21st, 2018. I'm Ferris Fair, and I'm Bambi Dextrous, and we have another really full show for you today, so why don't you kick it off for us, Ferris? I will do so. On Thursday, I was lucky enough to be at Chicago's down on Jasper Avenue. It's a fantastic restaurant, uh, barbecue, they had some of the best tasting pizza I've ever had. They're just, and uh, really great people. Uh, they put on a, an event for Fruits and Suits every month. Um, hosted by Melinda Verga, uh, called Royal Tea. Yeah, and this month was a 20s theme. Yeah. 1920s Great Gatsby theme. Yeah, exactly. So everybody picked something a little more retro, shall we say. Um, a little more Twiggy era. <laughs> uh, Melinda Verga banged it out as always. Uh, she did Why Don't You, which is one of my favorites of hers. Um, Christy Healy did a really wonderful version of Criminal, and she really banged it out. Uh, this, this woman was trying to climb over her friends over the table to give Christy a tip at one point. Oh. Uh, she, was so, she was so enjoying what Christy was doing. It was, it was really cool. <laughs> um, uh, no Vagina did Toxic, which was really fun. I loved the new blonde wig that I've been noticing lately. Uh, and Gigi had did a really fun version of I Will Survive. Um, Lady Tenderflake did a couple of numbers. She did Look at Me and Seven Day Fool, which were both really good. So yeah, it's a fun little event. So they're doing another event, I think, during Pride in June. So look for that event. And we'll try to share more information of what's coming up. Um, yeah. Also, I'm going to throw this over to you, too, because you wanted to talk about, on Thursday, uh, the ISCWR oh, went to the... ISCWR. They went to the legislature. Yes, they did. Um, now, we weren't there, but we saw the posts about it. It looked like everyone had a really great time. It was really great exposure. Mm -hmm. So yeah, congratulations to, to Trey and Kenya and everyone. That yeah, Trey and Kenya organized it, and uh, Christy Healy and Melinda Verga gave interviews. Yeah, anyway, so congratulations yeah. to everybody. Um, but yeah, so that's Thursday in drag. On, on Friday, um, I was at Darien Lake at Evolution yes. Wonder Lounge, uh, which was a lot of fun. She, she, uh, she was a total sweetheart. Um, and uh, yeah, she, she did some really fun numbers. Um, she's, she's a little racy. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't there for that. What oh, did she do? it was fun. Uh, she did habits like, hi, all the time. You know that one? Mm -hmm. um, and so like, yeah, there was, there was like cocaine and there was, all this kind of stuff, and yeah, so that was really fun. And then she banged out, I keep saying banged out today, I'm sorry, what a horrible phrase. Um, she, she did Adam Sandler's at a medium pace, and I don't know if you know that, but if you do, or don't, check it out on our channel. Uh, it's from one of his old comedy albums, and I was just absolutely living for it. <laughs> All my friends were <laughs> laughing their heads off, but no one had a clue what it was, whereas I was just like, yeah, mouthing along with her. Uh, so yeah, that was pretty great. Uh, but yeah, and then she also did What I Gotta Do, which was all about getting dick in her mouth. So yeah, it was racy bits with Darian Lake. It was a lot of fun. Uh, Sounds yeah. like a lot of fun. It was. Got to meet her backstage and yeah, just total sweetheart. Uh, yeah, so Rob I know had been wanting to bring her in for a long time, pretty much since season six uh, when she was when she was there. And uh, as, as Myra Means pointed out to me, I also have completed the, uh, the, the four of the alphabet for the top four from... Yes. Because I have met Adora Delano. Met Adore, I have met, met Bianca. Bianca. I have met Courtney. Yeah. That's how this whole fucking journey started. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. I finally met Darian Lake. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, I've completed the, the quad. ABCD. Yay! I'm so um, proud of you. There, as usual, there was some amazing opening talent from, from the local performers. And uh, our emperor, uh, Cinnamon, yeah, decided Cinnamon. to come out to come out again. So it was so fun to see, to see uh, Trey's other drag persona perform again yeah, uh, totally. and did a great number. Uh, Kenya also uh, performed and uh, 
the video, you've got to check it out. It was really great. Uh, Gigi blew me away. Um, I said to her afterwards, I really do think that's probably the best number I've ever seen her do. She did stronger, and it was just powerful. And I. I'll Proud check you that out on the channel. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, the other one from there that you have to check out um, was Melinda Verga. She did Bitch Better Have My Money. And it was fairly standard. <laughs> <laughs> For her. Which, you know, is pretty amazing. So yeah, check out all those videos on the channel. Now, um, on Saturday, I was working. So someone else was in charge of what was going on. Uh, yes. So I went down to EVO on the Saturday, where they had special guests from West Hollywood, Ray Latre and Murray Swanby. Mm -hmm. Now, I didn't think I'd care about Murray, because he's this twinky underwear model. <laughs> I don't care. But he was really sweet, and both he and Ray were lovely, lovely guests to have. And performances were amazing. Let's right get on. into those. Rhea did uh, live singing both times. Great. Uh, she did um, I Just Want to Be Your Everything and also um, a parody song, Uncut Cock, which is uh, abbreviated UCC on our channel to okay. be a little bit more Bambi friendly. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have bothered. <laughs> and then she also did Let's Have a Kai Kai, which is another live song she and Willem do. While that was going on at Evo, there's another drag happening on the other side of the river, another show. It was the, I believe, one year anniversary of the Sister Mary, Hail Mary, Have Mercy show. Yay! Shows, which, when you think about it, that's such a huge accomplishment. Mm -hmm. like, the same venue, the same shows happening monthly for a year, and I believe they have different performers every single month. Pretty much, but uh, yeah, I think she actually brought back some of her... Uh, they might have been even like some of the returnees from the beginning. I'm not 100% sure. But Anyways, yeah. it's always fabulous mm -hmm. and it's fun. Our trusty videographer Sky was Yay. there to cover that event. So thank you Sky. Uh, videos were lovely. And uh, in that show we had Sister Mary, of mm -hmm. course, Sushi, Cat Marlo Menorah, Morgan Fair and Roselle Christina Yay! returning on stage. Uh, Sky tried something new. She had talked to Mary about it, and they actually tried to do more of kind of a standstill and zoom to where wherever the person was performing. So um, we're curious as to what you think. So send us a message or comment on the videos or whatever too, because uh, again, we're just always trying to improve. We'd had some comments that they were hard to follow, so we thought we'd try something new. Anyway, let us know. Mm -hmm. That was, we can make an edit. Was there anything else there? The, oh, the sky's favorite. I think yes. That's the only other. <laughs> and I'm still looking at your way, and you just do what you do. Okay. And uh, sky's, um, and sky's pick of the week from that performance that night was Sister Mary Clarence. What dreams are made of? Good dreams. And then, which, which she's I don't know been doing it for talk. four years. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you want to talk about that one. Oh, I'll yes. A you... special, special shout out on that. We have some footage up of the um, Hail Mary, Have Mercy meet, meet and, and greet. greet. <laughs> and if you know what you're looking for, it's some of the most fabulous footage. We think footage. it's fabulous footage of crowd control. Yes, fabulous. <laughs> yes, for the, hay, for the Hay River trip coming up, Sister Mary Clarence is totally in charge of crowd control for our meet and greets. <laughs> that is decided. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, <coughs> I'm dying. 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 <laughs> um, do you want me to have it back? Um, on Sunday night, we were lucky to be a part of the May Long Dragathon for mental health, um, hosted by Rob Rowatsky. It's an annual event that he puts on at Evolution Wonderland. Now. Um, uh, it's something that he's been doing for years, so uh, we're, we're very happy to be a part of it. Um, I was actually supposed to perform as part of the Village Idiots, uh, but uh, something happened and that ended up not being able to happen, although that may be coming soon at another event, but that's another story. But uh, Bambi was able to still perform um, the Three of Hearts, Colin Bay, Rexy Resurrection, and Bambi Extras got to do their first number on yeah, stage. Yeah, our first number. What, was that, what was that like? Oh, it was wonderful. Um, I, I knew I'd want to do a performance with Colin and Rexy to like cement our status as Queen and Kings of Hearts, and, and it was it was 
a great kickoff number. Um, I heard from a lot of people it was a cute little skit that we did. So. It was. It was fun. Yeah. It was, yeah, it was really cute. Uh, yeah. Um, speaking of, of things happening for the first time, um, there was quite a few debuts last night. Yes. Um, and uh, that was <laughs> always good to see. Um, we had Mirage. Yes. Uh, came out and sang live and did Criminal uh, again, um, which is wonderful and, and really did a, did a really good job on the vocals and I'm picky. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was, I was very impressed and the look was great and yeah. Yeah, like you're a bit of a singer yourself so I was looking for your reaction and we definitely were impressed by Mirage mm -hmm. the vocals. Yeah, yeah, no. Um, I actually have it on authority that I went through some of the same training and stuff as the fair, the programs and stuff. Oh, so, okay. um, yes. Anyway, um, also debuted uh, at least on the Evo stage was Ms. Catastrophe. We of course know her for the last couple Two of years. years on Dragon Youth series. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. So, so we're familiar with Miss Cat, but it was really great for her to get on the mm -hmm. Evo stage and. I, I think get a whole new audience. Exactly, exactly. It was a really good introduction, so we're proud of you, Kat. So, congratulations. Mm -hmm. um, Jade Rose, uh, someone else who was completely new to the scene, to me at least anyway, mm -hmm. um, had definitely seen around at, at Evolution every now yeah, and then. Yeah, seen you around, but, but I think this was your debut official. Yes, yes, so congratulations. Yes. That was fun. You, you, and uh, welcome to the channel. Yeah, you banged it out. Ooh, again, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry! Oh, oh you, you did very well. I'm being bad with... Anyway, um, there was one other debut that I need to speak of. There was a drag king, apparently, has finally been added to the House of Homicidal. Um, in the Homicidal group number, there was a gentleman by the name of Bruce Pulpman. And I thought he was very good. He was very convincing. Yeah, very. Very, very convincing. Um, I was like, that's somebody's grandpa right there. Yep. Yeah. Welcome to the channel, Bruce. Um, there were some fantastic, fantastic numbers uh, that we have to talk about. There was how many numbers? 20, 20, uh, 30? There were 40, 28 performances. 28 performances. Okay, out of the 60 that we uploaded this week, 28 of them were from the Drag Dragathon Mental Health Long Week wow. show. And 34 performers total were on stage last night. Which is amazing. Oh. So, so, oh yes. Yes. We have a thank you to all of these people for being a part of the rundown. This event. Oh. Okay. Do it, girl. Ashley, Bambi, Busty, mm -hmm. Chelsea, mm -hmm. Colin, Dixie, mm -hmm. Daisy, Flo, Gigi, mm -hmm. Godiva, mm -hmm. Indigo, Jade, Jeffy, JonBenet, mm -hmm. Kat, Lady T, Lilith, mm -hmm. Lola, Lulu, Melinda, mm -hmm. Mirage, Miss Catastrophe, Miss Sincerity, Neva, Nova, Pheromone, Rexy, Ruby, Sister Mary, Clarence, Tequila, Tommy, Twiggy, Vanity, and Vula. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to everybody. That was, that was, uh, it was a really big show. Uh, but we had to narrow all of that down to, that? to some that we could actually we could talk, talk about, about or we'd be here for an hour. We'd be here for an hour. Um, so, so we're not talking about everybody. We've got three each. My first has to go to Godiva. Um, I absolutely love that number. I love Eartha Kit. Um, Rob was teasing you that you had done it before and hadn't. We don't. We don't have footage of it. We've never had footage of it. Yeah. Uh, Ruby Hyman has done it a couple of times, and yes. Gia Diamonds has done it once. Yes. Uh, but but we somehow somehow don't have footage of Godiva ever doing it before exactly. last night. And as we've said many times, if it did, if it doesn't happen on dragging our heels, then it, it doesn't exist. So yeah, we, you've never done it before, official. so it was a brand new number. Congratulations. <laughs> not official. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, good grief. Uh, the uh, another one that I have to say is the the homicide group number. Uh, Lilith and Chelsea were absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like it was just it was it was perfectly absurd. Yes. Uh, I just I absolutely. Ate it up or drank it down, I guess. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Finding <laughs> adjectives. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, my third uh, <laughs> is uh, Daisy Chain and Jeffy Lube Express. Oh, um, that is a good one. Yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, they did They did a number from Spam a lot, and I'm, I'm a huge Monty <laughs> Python mark, so I was living as soon, as soon as I saw Jeff come out in that outfit. I was just like, ah! Yeah. 
<laughs> so yeah, I was very happy with that. So yeah, uh, I yeah. Anyway, fantastic job, guys. That yeah, was, that was a great, great number. Um, yeah. What about you? Uh, you have three. Yes. Um, three. I know we. Can, there's so many to talk about, but we can only pick so many. Um, I want to talk about Melinda Verga mm -hmm. because that dance number from last night, girl, is just crazy. It was just. Fairly standard. Fairly standard, but amazing. <laughs> amazing. And so, yeah, Melinda, you know our feelings about you. And Pheromone and Ruby is another one we can always talk about. Mm -hmm. um, I'm really enjoying this pairing lately. We've seen them perform as duets a couple times now, and it's really fun. And their outfits. I, I officially challenge the four of us now need to do a number in the outfits. That's yeah, all I'm going to say. But, like, Ferris that and needs I to happen. Matching, Ruby yes, and the Ferris, four of us yeah. need to. We'll find a way. Yeah. And uh, the other one I want to talk about is Vanity. Mm. Uh, Vanity. She did Ashes by Celine Dion. Mm -hmm. And you know, girl is always on my case though. Like, your crown girl, you gotta like get your crown antlers and your sparkling antlers. Well, it's the it works. This is for you, Vanity. <laughs> my dear is crowned, and it's all thanks to you. <laughs> and so that was that. Um, that's who I got. And yeah, Vanity is fantastic. Um, and uh, there are very few people who can stand in the center of the stage and... And still have the focus. And have the complete and utter command of the entire room. And uh, it, it's, it's wonderful. So uh, congratulations. Congratulations. A fantastic yes. number. Uh, but yeah, uh, there were so many others, as, as Bambi read out. So congratulations to everybody. It was just a really, really, really great night. Yeah. Um, also wanted to throw out that almost six thousand dollars was raised for for those charities. So, yeah. uh, so congratulations to Rob, to Rob, to the bar, to the entire staff at Evo, and of course all the many individuals that donated to the event. Exactly, and we can't wait for next year's event. Yeah, and, and rumor good. has it there's going to be a hundred people. <laughs> so. Yikes! Can't wait for that show. Do we have enough batteries, Ferris? Oh we my God, we'll have to get before. some new batteries in the next year. <laughs> anyway. That's what happened last week, and this is this week. So on Thursday, you can come down to Evolution and see the RuPaul's Drag Race viewing party that happens every Thursday. We talk about it all the time. Mm -hmm. No promises that anyone like Darian Lake is going to show up this week, but who knows? You won't know unless you're there. And then on Friday, very special event, mm -hmm. it's the Roast of John Benet Ramsmey. Hosted by Lilith Fair, featuring Chelsea Horrendous, Vanity Fair, Lord is the Merry Virgin, Indigo, Androgyny, and Mr. Silver. Assuming Andrew gets back from Slave Lake, of course. <laughs> and on Saturday, <laughs> it's the Leather and Lace. Yes! It's that a it's a drag show and fundraiser for a, uh, a youth charity that I... Big, long acronym that sounds... Yes, but I, I it looks good. Nice. So that's at 8 p.m. and it's ten dollar cover mm. charge, and featuring Bubbles Larue, Harry Schnitzel, Never Be There, and Gigi and many others. Mm -hmm. Looks like a fun show. Yeah, uh, I think Braden and I are gonna try to both be at that one. Oh, so nice. It's be good. good. And on Sunday we are back at Evo for the Sunday review, and this week it's the Minority Report, hosted by Secretion Minora, and it has a star-studded list of. John Bonet around me, Chelsea Rendis, Cat, Go Go, uh, a debut, a couple of debuts of Tickle Menorah and Lona Lalo. So it's gonna be good. And I heard a rumor that my uh, my dear sister Seance Fair might be there. As Thank well. you. Yes, she's so an So that that should be fun. And that'll be at 10 p.m. Evolution Wonder Lounge and a five dollar cover. We've got drag your heels down the road, which is coming up really super fast. Less than two weeks, we are in uh, Hay River. Yes. At, uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun for the for the Edmonton, Edmonton for the Hay River Pride. So uh, we cannot wait to be there. Um, it's going to be amazing. And we've got Lilith Fair and, and Sister Mary Clarence and all kinds of stuff. And Bambi's going to do a story time hour. It's yes, be great. We'll and read some stories to the children in and, nature. And and the King of Alberta Anne's 2018 Duke Carson. Yes, and be the there King will too. be there. So it's going to be a really great show. Um, 
other things that you should look for on our channel that are coming soon. Um, we have uh, Shea Coulee is coming for Pride. We have Ben de la Creme who's coming, oh, coming for Pride. Today. Yes. Amazing. Um, we love Trinity that. the Tuck Taylor is coming to our channel very soon. Yay. And uh, Monet Exchange is coming back to redo from her date that she had to bump Redo. Uh, uh, redo for the bump that she had to drop out from uh, because of filming the finale. So uh, it's going to be good to see her when she comes uh, as well. So they've already rebooked her. So you can look for all those videos coming soon to our channel too. All right. That's amazing. Uh, yeah. I think the only other thing we have left to discuss, as far as I'm concerned, to be the pick of the week. Yeah, I think so. Do you want to go first? Yes, I will go first. Um, this pick of the week is amazing performer and amazing edit. I enjoyed the mix that was made, and it's Twiggy performing. And I'm, 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 I'm telling you. <laughs> and I'm telling you, 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 you that I'm you, not going. You, 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 you. <laughs> Yeah, fabulous performer and a fabulous mix. I really enjoyed it. Well, yeah, well, as you know, that was my pick of the week uh, last week with, um, oh, right, yeah. same song, same uh, different song. different mix. Uh, but yeah, it was it was oh. it was fantastic. Yeah. I you know I love Twiggy. You know yes. I love Twiggy. But yeah, just yet another completely creative spin on on a fantastic song. Yeah. Um, my pick of the week um, is someone that is a. A dear friend to me, um, and we like to joke that I'm not a fan of her drag, um, but I have to say that uh, Lady Tenderflake's number that she did last night um, was beyond powerful. Mm. And considering the uh, what the show was about uh, and everything else, it was very poignant and very. Anyway, uh, it was it was fantastic and. Uh, completely and utterly captivated the entire audience. Um, took control and command of the stage, and it was it was beautiful and powerful and raw. And thank you. So thank you for bearing your soul and your heart um, to us because it was it was powerful and it was wonderful to see, my friend. <laughs> All those videos are available on Dragging Our Heels and more. Sixty videos mm -hmm. since Thursday. So yeah. go enjoy, like. Share, subscribe, yes, do all those things that YouTubers say to get more attention to your friends and, and these amazing performers that we love so well yes. here in Edmonton. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Bye! Bye.